What's up, guys? Welcome to another week of PCPR, Prep, Cook, Plate, Repeat. This week's episode, we're making a different, an Asian version of a low country boil. So anyone knows low country boil, you got clams, you got mussels, you got shrimp, there's some lobster. Sometimes, depending what region you're in, you have crawfish, um, sausage, and corn. So we're going to put a little Asian twist on it. We're going to do some nice chili oil, some Malaysian oil, a bunch of different things. So we'll be, stay tuned. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep out some things. So what I did was I took some corn here, some just regular summer corn. I took one ear of corn, shucked it, took off the hairs, and I cut it in about this size right here. You can see that and get that on the camera. That's about an inch, an inch and a half piece. You can see right here. And then I took some lobster claws and I boiled them. So I went on the stove. I took about two quarts of water. I put the corn in first. Then I put these little guys that are connected to the lobster, right? I put the claw in and then I put these little guys that were connected, right? So I let the claws cook for about five minutes from boil. And then another, the last two minutes, I threw these guys in. Once that's done with the water, I took everything out and I let it cool down. We're gonna keep that water because that water we're gonna add a little bit to the base of our sauce, so don't get rid of that water, right? So next thing after that, what I have here is I have some clams. The clams, we're, gonna, we're, we're not gonna cook these yet. We're gonna cook these in the sauce. The reason I cooked the lobster first is because it would take too long in the sauce and then other things will overcook. So you need to do steps certain steps. So we're gonna leave the clams like this. All I did with the clams is I took them and I ran them under water and I wiped off any sand, any residual excess that might be on them. Sand from the beach, whatever, you know, whatever they came in. Next thing is our shrimps. So I'm gonna take the shrimp, very simple. These are just regular shrimps here. I believe they're 2125 as they're called. The reason they're called 2125 is because 21 of these guys make up one pound. That's why. So we're going to first take off the skin with a paring knife or a sharp knife. You're going to take the tip of this knife and we're going to run it to the back of the shrimp. Don't pierce the shrimp entirely, just a light little cut on the top. The reason we want to expose it, this is also called kind of butterflying, but we're not butterflying the entire thing. The reason I'm opening it up like this is because I don't want to cook the shrimp with the vein inside. Sometimes there's veins, sometimes it, there's feces from the shrimp. So you wanna get rid of that stuff. Any black stuff that you may find inside of the shrimp, this one's actually pretty clean. So we don't have to clean it up too much. So you throw it right into here. I got about 10 shrimps right there. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go jump over to the stove. We're gonna start creating the base of our sauce. We're gonna have some chili, um, some chili garlic sauce, some Malaysian garlic oil. We're gonna have scallions, right? We're gonna have some um, ginger that I just zested. I zested about an inch knob of ginger right into the bowl here. And then I did the same thing with the garlic, but I have about six garlic cloves here zested or grated, made into a paste. So we're gonna jump over into the stove. We're gonna first start, like I said, we're gonna start cooking these sausages first. We're gonna get them crispy and then we're gonna put them to the side. Once that's done, we're gonna let, we're gonna use the same pan with all this juices from the sausage, and we're gonna start making our chili oil. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're gonna we want to get our pan on the stove, about medium heat or so. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of butter. Throw that right in there. Let that start to melt. We're gonna throw our garlic in there. And throw our ginger in there. What you want to do here is you want to fragrance this butter. Really want to start to get out all that, all that oils from the garlic and from the ginger without burning it. So you slowly want to get all that flavor out of there, extract all that flavor. All right, just let that keep going like that. Going to add a, a little bit more butter. Right in. We're gonna add one dried chili. 
that's a Thai chili. You can find that really in any supermarket. Um, the Asian markets normally have them. They're just red, red Thai chili peppers and they're dried. All right, once that's cooked, it's really starting to get fragrant. Starting to brown just a bit, which is what we want. We're gonna throw in our chili mix here with Malaysian oil. So that is right there, about a quarter cup of chili oil. And let that cook all together. And then here I have a little bit of soy sauce. I have two tablespoons of soy sauce right in here. For about two, three minutes. You don't want, you don't want the soy sauce or the chilies to burn. You just want it to heat up throughout. See how the sauce is like really thick still? That's good, that's what you want. Now what we're gonna do is once this cooks for about a minute or two, that, that extra broth that you had that you cooked the corn in and the lobster in, we're gonna throw that into here. We're gonna throw some of it, not all of it. So we're gonna let this cook and we'll be right back. All right guys, so get yourself a nice pot, olive oil right in here, nice high heat. And we're gonna take some of this um, sausage we have here so we have an andouille sausage. It's like a Louisiana sausage. This, this is normally the sausage that goes into a low boil. Um, if you want to use Italian hot or Italian sweet, totally up to you. But since this already has some nice low boil flavors, we're going to use them since it's a Cajun sausage. So we're really going to sear these nice and crispy. And then we're going to put them to the side. And then once our sauce is... is mixed with all the seafood, then we're gonna throw these into there and then cook them all together. So we're gonna sear these guys for a few minutes. We're gonna give them a turn and we'll be right back. All right, now that our sausage is nice and crispy, we're gonna flip, we're gonna give it a little turn here. That's what you wanna see. You wanna see that nice brown piece like that right there, beautiful. Flip them over. We're gonna crisp up the other side. And once they're done, we're going to put it right into our bowl here with some paper towel. Just drain off that oil a little bit. And once we come back, we're going to start making the sauce. So now that our chili paste is cooked, it's pretty thick still, which is good. We're going to take some of that water, that broth that we had before. We're going to add a couple of ladles. Do one ladle. And two ladles. Stir that in. Get that sauce, mix it in with the chilies. Beautiful color right there. Get that stirring. Now, have you ever been to a um, certain Asian restaurants, certain Asian seafood restaurants? You've seen this before. You'll, you'll order some seafood, shrimp. It could be clams, mussels, lobster. And it comes in a bag, and it has a chili oil already in the bag. Pretty much we're making the same exact thing. We're just It's not going to be in a bag. It's going to go on a plate or a bowl, I should say. All right. So now we're going to let this come to a boil. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our clams. Mix that in there. Now you wanna cook these clams right until they start to open up a little bit. And then we're gonna add our shrimp right after that. So we're gonna let these cook a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, so now that your clams are starting to open up just a bit, as you can see here, they're gonna, they're starting to open up a little bit. I don't want them to fully open up and then start cooking everything else because then the clams are gonna be cooked. Hardest part about this dish is trying to cook everything at the same time. Next thing, our shrimps going right in. We're gonna throw our shrimps in. We're gonna reheat the sausage through, just like that. Get that in there. We're gonna throw our corn. And 
and then our claws are already pretty cooked. We're just going to re-therm them. Any juice that might be left over, throw it back in there. If you think the sauce is a little too low, you can always add a little bit more of that broth that was in there. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is take a other saute pan, a regular pan, and put it right over it so the clams can finish cooking. So you're creating like a little mini oven here and it's going to steam. So it's going to open up the rest of the clams. It's going to cook the shrimp and it's going to heat everything else up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the table and we're going to start putting all this together on a bowl. All right, guys. So I separated everything. I took out the clams. I took out the lobster claws just to make it a little easier to plate. All right. So we're going to start putting down our corn just like that. Put it all around. Then we're going to scatter our shrimp all around just like that. go. Now we're going to get some of the sausage that was in here. Okay, get some of that beautiful sausage. Get some more shrimp in there. I'm going to get these, some of those claws, some of those knuckles as they say. Okay, right in there. Then we're going to start to plate our seafood or clams here. Boom. Beautiful. Open them up, expose them. As you can see, it's still large, it means that it wasn't overcooked. Throw that in there. And we'll just start putting our claws Lobster claws right in there. It's all around. And for a little presentation, we're going to open up this lobster claw. So take the back piece of your knife. We're going to start to expose it. Give it a little crack. Just like that. Start to loosen up the meat in there. Little by little, start to expose it. You can use a towel for this. Just be careful because these uh, these claws are sharp and they will cut you. I'm gonna expose this end here. Take this. Take it right off. Gently, without breaking anything, start to expose the claw. You want to get this piece out. This cartilage piece, you don't want that chewing on that. Like that. Still some in here. Carefully break that. Pull back. Peel it away from the skin. And then you have your claw. You put that right on top for a little presentation. And then to finish her off, you add that beautiful chili sauce that you worked so hard for. You graciously baptize the lobster and the seafood. Beautiful. Just to finish it. Just like they do over in Asia, those little, little cilantro scattered around with the stem is fine. It's meant to be eaten with your hands. Beautiful. And just like that. Low country, Asian boil. Enjoy. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in to Prep, Cook, Plate, and Repeat. Um, hope you enjoy this video, low country boil, Asian style, beautiful Asian sauce, chili sauce, with some lobsters, some clams, uh, some shrimps in there. 
Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. If there's something you'd like to see next week, comment down below. We'll see you next time.